explain what is self-assembly. To understand the concept of self-assembly, consider different components of a structure which are not arranged or assembled in a proper manner. To attain a state of least energy, these components reorient and rearrange their positions such that they form a specific structure which is very stable. This spontaneous generation of order in a random system of components is called a self-assembly. Basically, it can be stated that self-assembly refers to the processes in which an organized structure or system is formed from a disordered system of components as a result of specific local interactions among the components without any external work. When the constituents of the assembly comprise of molecules, then the process of realignment and rearrangement without any external work is termed as molecular self-assembly. Basically, in a molecular self-assembly, molecular components reorganize themselves naturally using specific interactions without doing any work. And these molecular components get arranged with respect to some specific molecular properties such as electrostatic characteristics, or geometric characteristics or photonic characteristics etc. Thus self-assembly refers to the phenomena whereby small chemical units undergo natural and spontaneous mechanisms to form stable complex and much larger structures under some defined conditions. It should be noted that self-assembly is a thermodynamic process where there is equilibrium between the molecules and self-assembled aggregates. Some common examples of self-assembled chemical structures are liquid crystals, self-assembled monolayers, organization of lipids into micelles and polymers adsorbed onto surfaces in layers and multi-layers. For instance, if a drop of any solution is made to evaporate on a wetted substrate, then it is observed that slowly solvent front begins to converge inward and particles get deposited. When finally solvent evaporates completely, self-assembled structures are left behind. This also is an example of self-assembly. Let's discuss about some characteristic features of self-assembly. It is very obvious that the self-assembled structure has a higher order as compared to that of isolated components. Weak interactions like hydrogen bonding van der Waals forces and dipole-dipole interactions come into play in self-assembly. The constituent molecules of self-assembly have an organized structure which is thermodynamically more stable than the isolated components. The final structure that is formed after self-assembly is encoded in the form of properties of molecules that are used in the self-assembly and this is why self-assembly is referred to as a bottom-up manufacturing technique. The related terms are 